She's a former military officer trained in weapons and hand-to-hand -hand combat. Her job in the Army? Ordnance officer. And in a twist of fate, she's gone from boots to bikinis. You'll understand. Utilizing her discipline and grace, she's learned as a military officer and now uses those skills as a pageant queen, veteran activist, and executive producer. Still holding on to her military core values, Rachel continues to speak to audiences on her platform. Veteran employment, taking care of our heroes, and their families. In honor of her military background, a portion of the AOAG proceeds goes back into the military community. Please, will you stand for our honoree of the year? This is Raquel Riley Thomas. This is the uh, Voices of Victory Award, the 2011 Honoree of the Year, and is presented to Raquel Riley Thomas for your service, leadership, and distinctive voice in support of full veteran employment uh, for women veterans and military families, awarded on this day, 11-11-11. <laughs> Make sure I don't fall in these heels, right? I'm used to <laughs> combat boots. <laughs> oh, to the Honorable Vincent Gray and all the other dignitaries that are here in this place tonight, thank you so much for being here on this beautiful autumn day as we celebrate our everyday heroes, our military service members. Can we please, let's give them a round of applause. I want to thank the Women Veterans Rock Organization for awarding me this great honor. Mrs. Deborah Harmon Pugh, you are truly God's angel. I appreciate your commitment, your care, and your concern for our fellow comrades. I want to thank my husband, Ron, who is my rock that I lean on. You are my motivation to continue on. You are my world, and I thank God every day for you. I appreciate you. To my daughters, Maria and Sophia, you give me inspiration daily to continue a mission of serving our community. You are both a twinkle in mommy's eyes. <laughs> to my family and friends, Randy, Michelle, Suling, Lorette, Mrs. America 2002, who came out to see us, Tiffany and James, words cannot express my love for each of you. Your leadership guidance is why I'm here today. I apologize. Yeah, <laughs> Didn't know that was gonna happen. Wonderful, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. When they say it takes a village to raise a child, it takes a real village to raise a pageant queen. <laughs> 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 if you would have told me 21 years ago that I would be standing here in front of my fellow service members in a sash and a crown, giving them a snapshot of my life, it's safe to say I would have headbutted you with my M16 because I was only 17 years old. I was an enlisted soldier in the United States Army, fighting to protect the people of our great nation. Now. I'm wearing a sash, fighting for the rights of those veterans who protected our great nation. Yeah. It's a different stage, but guess what? It's still the same mission. With our great organizations, such as the Women Veterans Rock, they make my job a little easier. So you ask me, well, how did I arrive here? Well, I will say this, I arrived at this point because I did not listen. I didn't listen. I didn't listen to the naysayers. The naysayers were in my ear. I did not revel in the belittling remarks that I heard almost every day of my life as a youngster. And what does this mean to each of you? Maybe for you to reach your personal goals, you too may have to stop listening. Now let me give you an example. It's okay, you can clap for yourselves, it's okay. okay. 
Let me give you an example of what I mean so you can understand this. When I was in grade school, I was criticized and I was bullied every day. I was called a tree, toothpick, ugly duckling, stupid, dumb. I was told I was not smart enough to graduate from grade school, high school, and even college. I was told I would be pregnant by 14 and drop out of school at age 15. Well, I decided to do things my way. I graduated on the honor roll of grade school, high school, and even college. I got married, and now I have a beautiful family. Now let's jump to my enlistment in the military. I was told I would fail. I would fail because I was an African-American female. I would not make it past the grade of E4 because African-American women can't handle the pressure of being told what to do. <laughs> Others told me African-American women are not leaders, they are mere followers. Well, again, I didn't listen. I went on to Hampton University in Virginia. <laughs> I graduated as a distinguished honor graduate in my Reserve Officer Training Corps class, and I became a captain in the United States Army. I was in charge of hundreds of soldiers. I wrote command procedures for thousands of troops, and I was later recognized as a leader of the future by Ebony Magazine. So jump to the present. I was told I could not effectively own and run a business. Okay, I will be fearless and I'll run too. <laughs> and finally, I was told I could never be a beauty queen. Well, not only did I become a pageant queen, I became Mrs. Maryland America, and I also became Mrs. America first runner-up. But then I also switched gears, and I became the owner of Mrs. DC America pageant. So now I'm crowning other queens. So my point is to be fearless. Be vigilant in your endeavors. If you are living a miserable life, get the miserable people out of your life and out of your ear. You are a leader, and there is a plan, and there's a plan, excuse me, laid out for your life, and I'm here to tell you your friends, your family, and your coworkers are not the ones who can tell you about your plan. Only God can. He is and he places it in your heart. Now it's up to you to be fearless and decide if you're gonna act on it. That's what I did, I listened to my heart. I was determined to beat the odds, I was fearless, I fought the stereotypes, and I continue to fight them every day, and now I have to fight even harder because there's so many derogatory images of women everywhere. TV shows such as The Real Housewives, Basketball Wives, Bridezillas, Okay, now wait a minute, Brazilians is kind of funny though. You see how they throw the cake? You see? Okay, I'm sorry. It is a little funny. Comedy, I'm sorry. It is a little funny though. But ser seriously, I know being fearless can sometimes be easier said than done. To make my life easier, I made a plan. Some of you may know this as a backwards plan in the military. I set daily tasks to achieve my goals. And with a growing family, I had to manage my expectations. My husband always tells me, baby, Rome was not built in a day. So I set a goal, and I started to do one task a day, just one. Once I achieved a goal, I went to another task. And I just kept on and on until I accomplished my goals. And I did not listen to the naysayers in my ear. And I'm going to leave you with this quote that I live by. Keep away from the people who belittle your ambitions. Small people always do that, but the really great make you feel that you too can become great. Again, thank you kindly for this honor. I appreciate each and every one of you for your commitment and your dedication to our country and to our fellow man. God bless you. Godspeed. <laughs>